So does the incredible Forza Horizon 5 on the RG Ally work with the Camus C5 direct drive racing wheel? I'm a little nervous on this test as it's my first ever time trying out a gaming wheel. So together let's look at what's in the box, some curveballs in the setup process and whether it does work with Forza 5. Plus we'll test out another officially supported game in the excellent Grid Legends and also see if an unsupported game works too in Dirt 5. So let's dive straight in and the first thing to know is that this is a huge package. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. Oh, Michael, please. There he is. Please. There he is. Come on. I've never used a gaming racing wheel before, so I have no clue what to expect. So let's see what's in the package, and first we have the pedals. Next we have the main Camus racing wheel itself. And finally we have what I presume is a table clamp for the wheel. I must say I love the black and minimalistic packaging and artwork and it does already come across as a slick and premium looking product. So let's start opening up the desk clamp first and we get an actual screwdriver and screws. Wow, that was unexpected. Some turntable screws and metal attachments. I'm not sure how any of this comes together so I hope there's instructions somewhere as there's none in this box. Next, let's open up the C5 pedals and we have the user manual, a bit of metal that I presume is perhaps a foot pedal and another one, the metal base, a USB-C cable, traction gripper things and finally the actual pedals themselves. And finally, let's unbox the racing wheel and in here we have the manual and whoa, the C5 racing wheel looks absolutely epic. Feeling it for the very first time and it feels absolutely solid. Great in hand which I am assuming is leather or some kind of synthetic variation and is pretty heavy. We also get a kettle lead, what appears to be a cooling fan, the power adapter, brackets and screws and some stickers. So now let's start trying to put it all together and first we'll go with the table bracket and thankfully I found the instructions at the back of the user manual that came in the steering wheel box. This was the first curveball as I was planning on using it at our dining room table but the brackets aren't wide enough which I didn't expect. So I'll pop the handle screw in and then attach to our study desk which can accommodate the bracket. And the second bracket, not forgetting this top part so it doesn't damage our table. The second curveball was that a screwdriver was included but an allen key for these screws here wasn't. But thankfully we did manage to find one around the house. When all four screws are secure, we need the fan from the racing wheel box and ah, this is where the allen key is, where the screws for the fan is. Now let's screw the fan on using the included screwdriver. Then we attach the top plate on and we can adjust the angle here and I'm going to go for the middle slot. Now we attach the rods to the rear of the racing wheel using the screws from the wheel white box. Insert this into the base on the desk and secure this with screws. Just before we plug everything in, let's assemble the foot pedals with the accelerator going here and the brake on the right. Then we'll screw these into place to secure them. Then we can place the actual pedals where we want and I'll choose right here and secure these in place with these small screws which is a little bit fiddly. And finally we just place the anti-slip pads on the bottom of the plate where the pedals are. With everything now fully assembled let's plug the USB-C into the pedals and the other end into the wheel. The fan we will now plug into the wheel, the USB cable into the wheel, the yellow power adapter in and the other end into the kettle lead. And there we go, I've powered on the camera C5 and I'm using my great Oroco 10 in 1 dock, link in the description where the camera is plugged in here and the power pass through to the Ally is here. We'll head to the official Camus website, link in the description and download all of the very latest drivers and updates. When completed, we can calibrate the accelerator and brake pedals and also the steering wheel to ensure maximum accuracy. So with the Camus C5 now fully set up, Forza Horizon 5 is one of the officially supported games by Camus. So let's follow their setup instructions on their website, link in the description. Step one is to download Forza Emu Wheel, open it, then extract it, which in my case is in documents. 
Step two is to download VJoy. Locate it in downloads and then install it, making sure any antivirus is closed. Although for me, it just kept hanging for some weird reason, so I had to restart my ally. For step three, let's search for configure VJoy, changing the number of buttons to 128, POV hat switch is set to four directions and POVs is set to value one, then click apply. For step four, head to where we installed Emuwheel, go into the registry folder, install the VJoy registry entry, then restart our ally. For step five, let's head into configurator, press set on the steering wheel and move the wheel to register it. Then any other parts of the setup, such as the throttle and brake on the pedals on the floor to register these two. I've set the buttons on the steering wheel itself here on the right, then press save configuration. It's saved as a JSON file so we can retrieve it easily by loading it and we should only need to do this configuration once at setup. Each time we play Forza 5, we need to load the Hush app to press mute, which is required when using Emuwheel, then minimize this. And every time we also need to open the Forza Emuwheel app, press start, then just minimize this too. So do not close it. For the final step six, we need to map the controls within Forza 5 itself by heading into settings, then controls, and in wheel, we'll scroll across to any custom wheel profile. The first time I did this, it failed to map any of the canvas wheel or pedals by pressing them on the hardware. So I re-added the registry file again, which then seemed to make it work. So then I could map the buttons correctly, which I chose custom wheel profile one. It's looking promising, so I press save, but then it comes up with a message saying that to save a wheel profile, the active controller must be a wheel, which is weird. So I head into hush to unmute the cameras to see if this caused the issue, but the same error message came up. I downloaded DI view and the camera wheel and pedals are showing as being registered by the ally. So let's hope it works in Forza 5. So this is the moment of truth and no, the car in Forza on the screen does not seem to recognize the cameras, either the wheel by turning left or right or using the accelerator or brake on the pedals, unfortunately. Yes, even after all the steps we've very carefully done, it doesn't appear to have worked. And I'm pretty sure it's a simple solution or something that I've missed along the way. So if you have any ideas at all on what it could be, then let us know in the comments. So let's try another game that's officially supported by cameras on their list, which is Grid Legends. So I've downloaded the game from Game Pass in the Xbox app, just like Forza 5. So let's go into controls within settings and it looks like the camera's hardware has been recognized, which looks promising. I wonder if I need to bind them in game though, like Forza. So let's try the steering wheel and no, it doesn't appear to have been recognized. Let's just try a race. Again, moment of truth now. And no, the steering wheel does not control the car at all or the pedals don't work either. Again, any ideas, really appreciated. Have I missed a step or is there a patch that I need to download perhaps? And finally, let's try a game that's not officially supported in one of my favorite racing games in the fantastic Dirt 5. Again, I've downloaded the game onto the C drive from Game Pass. Let's head into the input settings and it has actually recognized the camera's wheel, which again is great. This may be it, guys. Let's go into input settings and see if I can map the accelerator pedal and also the wheel. And I don't think this has worked. So let's just try a race and does it work? No, the camera's wheel or pedals just don't seem to be recognized. As I say, this is my first ever time testing out a wheel and surely there is an easy fix for these issues. So please do let us know your advice and suggestions in the comments below so we can try them out in a future video. The actual camera C5 hardware itself is a fantastic piece of kit. And Nada, Rebecca, and the great team of cameras have given you great viewers 15% off using the code PETALKSTECH15 through November 30th at camusracing.com. Link in the description. And a big shout out to them for allowing me to test it out with the Ally. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and as a little extra bonus for watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Look for something positive in every day, even if some days you have to look a little harder. 
If you're having a really bad day today, then just remember that there's always something that we can be thankful for. So stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you want to see some awesome Nando's Perry Chicken, oh, and the PS Portal too. I appreciate every single one of you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.